Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mike Druhan from Medics Health. How are you today? Uh, great today, Tracy. How about you? I'm very good. So I'm so happy that you're here. I'm dying for an update on our skin cancer detection technology. How's the regulatory process going? So the regulatory process in Brazil, if last time we were on here, we were talking it was going to be very quick um, to come to conclusion with it. We've gotten back notification from the certi certifiers that certify it's okay. That's gone over to Invisa. We're expecting very, very shortly here. We'll have full ability to be commercialized in Brazil. Okay, so for those of you out there in Investor Intel that may not be familiar, that last deal you made was quite impressive, especially for the architecture for the company moving forward. Yeah. Tell us about this. So Medix hasn't been, uh, it's been a one and done sort of product before, but now we have a scalable technology which allows us to sell a hardware, the scanning device, and goes across our platform, which makes us a complete SaaS model. So we just did a deal on January the 16th in Brazil where they bought 500 scopes represents about $1 million of hardware sales and about $2 million of recurring revenue every year. That was the first purchase order out of Brazil. Now, that is because they have stocking orders they're doing and indicated demand for the technology already. So we're going into the largest single show in Brazil on the end of April, and we expect to see a lot more purchase order and flow out of that show. Our partners in Brazil have been exceptional. I think it's really important, of course, to note that in that formula, what you've done is you've created the architecture for other deals. I mean, you started, you've got the technology, you're proving it works, and now you're getting the orders, and then that beautiful word for us as investors, reoccurring revenue. Do I have it correct? You do, and you made another really interesting point in there. We were uh, connected with another country that's right next door that we're looking to do a deal down there that will replicate the deal we're doing in Brazil. So the ability is we've got a scalable model that we can replicate right across, and the equator is a good place to do business. As Bonnie and Clyde said, why do you rob banks? That's where the money is. And for those of you out there as well, there's so much technology Technology, but what works and what doesn't, we have, again, proven technology for a real issue that we all have to actually be aware of, which, of course, is skin cancer. Can you just comment on that? Yeah, so skin cancer is one of the most prevalent cancers, and it's one of the only cancers that's continuing to, um, to grow. And we know if we catch it early, it has a really good outcome, like a stage one melanoma, but a 97% survival rate. Move that on to a stage four melanoma, and that's going to cost the healthcare system about 150000 a patient a year, and it outcomes about 20% survival rate after five years. So the key is, it's on the outside of your body, it's on your skin, get, you know, get scanned early. And of course, things are moving so quickly. Mike, please come back regularly and keep us updated. Promise I'll do that. Us. Thanks so much, so much.